Hello everybody and happy weekend. No, it's not really a happy weekend at all. Um, today is Friday and as you guys can see, I am not feeling well at all. Uh, last Saturday, I started not feeling too great and I woke up with like a sore throat and didn't really think anything of it. And then on Monday, I was like, done. I had it. Um, I went to work all last week or this past week, except for Friday because today, because I just, and it took me everything to get dressed. Um, because yesterday, even after work, I was like, or no, I didn't work yesterday because it was New Year's. Oh my God, you guys, everything is off. Anyway, I had off Thursday because it was New Year's Day and, um, I just literally stayed in my pajamas all day yesterday. Um, it started with like a sore throat, body aches, fever, uh, chills, stuffy nose, and then it like went to my nose. So stuffy nose, like plugged sinuses. Now it's gone from there pretty much. Like I still have a runny nose and now it's into my chest and I'm coughing and it hurts. My whole body still aches. I still have a fever. I'm taking Tylenol every four hours. I'm going over to my daughter's house right now to get some Mucinex because she has some left over because both of my kids had this exact same thing for like a good 10 days. Um, so yeah, I have a whole bunch of hauls that I need to do that I can't even do because I feel like I have no energy whatsoever. Like I get up, I go do something and then... I'm just completely exhausted to the point where I can't do anything anymore. The dog is barking. Stop. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to get done this weekend. It is a sick weekend. <coughs> but, oh, you guys. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to relax right now and I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. Hello everyone, it is Saturday and um, as you guys can see and probably hear, I am feeling tons better. So um, just a little bit about what happened yesterday. I was probably the sickest I have felt in a very, very long time. It was absolutely crazy. Um, I had a very high fever and I just wasn't feeling well as you guys saw. So I did decide to go to the doctor. So I went and um, basically what happens with me is if I get any sort of virus or flu or like ear infection or bronchitis or anything, what will happen is um, after the fact when I start getting better, uh, my asthma kicks in and that was basically what was happening yesterday. I had this whole like head cold, flu, fever, body aches type thing happening during the week and then that kind of went away and it all kind of sunk into my chest but the fever still remained. So I was concerned about bronchitis, pneumonia. I really thought that I had pneumonia. I was really scared um, because I get pneumonia very, very easily. I've had, I don't even know how many times I've had pneumonia when I was little. I remember being in the hospital a lot when I was little with pneumonia. Um, but anyway, so I went in and it turns out I do have bronchitis. Um, she said my ears looked a little bit funky, possibly have a sinus infection. So they did give me um, an antibiotic and then also ran through all of the inhalers and all of the... Um, not prednisone, um, steroid inhalers for me for my asthma because that is basically what is happening right now. My chest is really tight because, um, you know, my asthma is starting to flare up. So I'm trying to nip that in the bud. I feel a lot better today. My fever is gone, thank God. Um, and what else? I have a major headache today though and 
Um, other things are happening. Too much information. I'm not going to go into it. You guys can probably guess it's something about the ASS. But anyway, um, so things are coming out of me. Things are leaving the facility of Miss Angela. So that is really good. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I will be, well, I know I will be able to go to work, back to work on Monday because I did miss Friday and I feel really bad, but I was like dead. I was literally dead. So anyway, so I woke up this morning and um, I did film, well, I shouldn't say film. I did voiceovers for two candle reviews. I have been really slacking on my candle reviews. I don't really know why, um, but I haven't been getting as many candle reviews in as I would like to. So I did do two of those. I think I have like three more left. And um, usually I post one video a day, but I think what I'm going to do is in addition to the one video, I'm going to do start to do some of my candle reviews at night. Um, I feel like they don't get as many reviews as my other videos or many views as my other videos. So um, I think I'm going to do them in addition to my daily upload. But anyway, so right now also I have been going through my bathing garden, um, sugar scrubs. I did just order four more, you guys, because she opened and she only opens like once every two months. So I did order four and um, I've been organizing my sugar scrub closet area um, and I've been putting the older ones on the top and the newer ones on the bottom. So when I grab another sugar scrub, I just grab from the top and I know that those are the older ones and I'll show them uh, to you guys in a bit. But other than that, I've been kind of doing that. I've been um, going over my Colonial Candle order. I did get that yesterday, so and that order turned out perfect. I absolutely love every candle that I got, so I will be uh, recording a haul for that. And I'm just waiting on my Kringle order right now. I haven't gotten any shipping notification, and I did email them, and I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Um, so... Yeah, and we got snow. I'll show you guys that. So there is the snow. We were expected to get six inches, but we only, I would say, got an inch, which is okay in my book. Okay, you guys, so this is my bathing garden sugar scrub little closet area here, and yeah, it's pretty sad, Um, but... You guys know I love a good sugar scrub. So anyway, so um, I have the newer ones all in these basically three rows here. And then over here I have the older ones like, um, let's see, this one is Cranberry Chiffon, Vintage Circus, Eye of Newt, Belmorte. I have no idea what the hell that one is because you can't read it anymore. Frosted Serendipity, Clauses Toy Shop, Glitter and Garland, Haunted Hayride, Blackberry Jam and Lemon Curd, Victorian Carousel, Sparkle and Spice, Sea of Tears, which is a really good one, Sun Ripened Raspberry, um, layered with watermelon taffy and this one is fairy bonfire and then I also have this one from TJ Maxx it is a cherry vanilla that one's really good and then this one an old one from Bath and Body Works the true blue spa and then I also have my crab tree and Evelyn um, this is the brand that I am going to be starting to buy for my body care just because of the fact that I'm just really sick and tired of Bath and Body Works body care. I just don't like it at all. So anyway, um, yeah, so I found out that I can actually order Crabtree and Evelyn Outlet. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, that is my collection huh, of sugar scrubs. And this is my embarrassment of Bath and Body Works products. Um, some philosophy in here as well. I'm going to be going over all of these Weeding out the ones that I don't want. I also see the body shop in there. Um, some Victoria's Secret in the back there. But yeah, this is pretty sad. I don't need all of this. I'm going to be donating some, asking my kids and my mom if they want some, and just getting rid of a lot of it uh, because I just don't need it. And then this is my Colonial Candle order. I'm going to get into this in depth when I do uh, my haul. But yeah, I was really impressed. Hi everyone. So I just got back um, from taking my daughter to work. I'm 
like on my way home right now and you guys know I look like a hot mess what else but um I had some type of reaction to the medication I'm taking I took my albuterol inhaler because I was feeling a little bit wheezy and then I took my steroid that I was supposed to be taking and I started shaking I started getting sweaty which is disgusting and I like literally felt like I was gonna throw up I feel like I was having some type of reaction to all the different medications I'm on right now so that's great plus like I barely ate anything today which might be another reason why you know I had um, the reaction oh my brakes come on brakes work for me but anyway so right now I'm just on my way home I did pick up subway because like I said I didn't eat but I don't want to really like eat anything bad so um, I got the vegetarian sub so basically it's just bread and vegetables and stuff like that but I will check in with you guys a little bit later on and we got some snow it's supposed to snow um, a little bit more we're underneath like some type of advisory or something I don't know like rain snow mixed whatevs but yeah it's kind of foggy right now and um, things are kind of slushy hi everyone well it is Saturday night and I just got done cleaning out my uh, bath and beauty kind of closet area and I have these two bags and I have all the products in there that I am going to be donating to um, the local shelter we actually I heard we have a high school homeless closet um, yes there are high school students who are homeless um, living on their own and don't really have a place to go so uh, these I think products will come in handy for the kids and I am gonna be doing a video on what is in both of these bags um, and I do encourage you guys to go through your body care stash um, or anything that you may have in your home that you think that you're not going to be using within the next year and donate them um, there are so many in need right now and I just think it's a really good idea um, instead of sitting on your shelf doing absolutely nothing getting old um, you know or you guys throwing them away within a year you could donate them so yeah that's basically what I am doing right now Hello everybody and happy Sunday. Well, it's not really happy for me. I was up until 3 o'clock last night. I could not sleep. Uh, the steroid inhaler that they have me on, I believe it is preventing me from sleeping, which really, really sucks. Um, and I was coughing all night and it was just a horrible night. So I decided that I'm not going to be burning any candles until my asthma symptoms um, completely go away this time. So I am going to be on a melting frenzy. So today in all of my warmers, um, you guys can see the tops of all of my warmers. I am going to be using Bon Savon Frey and Sweet Lolly. This was a loaf that was poured in um, April of 2013. Now, I know all you waxies out there are thinking, oh my gosh, that is such an old you know date um, the wax doesn't smell at all it loses its scent over age I have the opposite effect on my wax my wax smells ten times stronger the older it is so I don't know um, all of the people out there who are like selling D stashes of old wax and putting the price down I think that that is wrong because I really honestly feel like the older the wax gets um, the stronger the scent in most wax cases but anyway so I have all of the chunks lined up here and I am going to get ready to melt hello everyone um, it is Sunday at 2 30 in the afternoon and I sound horrible sorry about that I actually you know did some laundry got myself together took a shower put some makeup on um, and I actually filmed my Colonial Candle Haul. This is part of the candles that I got, one of the candles. Um, 
I am pretty impressed with my order, I must say. Um, and now I'm just like going through things and editing and stuff like that. But today has just been one big cough fest. Um, I feel like I can't catch my breath. I've been taking my albuterol inhaler every four hours, which helps like the first two hours and then it goes right back to, um, you know, where um, I was in the beginning. Um, and I know you guys are probably going to say, oh, Angela, you know, it's your candles. No, I've had this all my life. Um, when I was younger, like I said before, I have had... Um, I had pneumonia when I was younger. I mean, I could count I could count the times that I had pneumonia on both hands. Um, I was a very sickly, sickly child. I remember being sick a lot when I was younger. I remember being um, in the hospital a lot when I was younger with meningitis and mumps and measles and um, just a lot of different things, strep throats, um, you know, surgeries and stuff like that. But anyway, um, so yeah, so my asthma flare-ups are not anything new. Um, I don't get these in the summer or the spring or the fall. This just happens in the winter. And it doesn't help that the temperature right now, uh, windshield is negative 35 outside. So when you go outside and you get that cold, cold air in your lungs, um, it shocks your system and that's kind of, and like your, your lungs kind of tighten up and squeeze and that's kind of what's happening with me. Um, I do have to go out later on today. I have to fill my car with gas because I do work tomorrow. Um, so I want to get that done today. So I don't have to do it tomorrow morning and my bra is showing and that's like uncomfortable and weird, isn't it? But anyway, um, yeah, so Snooki is with me right now. And we are just recording, aren't we? And she's being really good. She did not bark um, at all when I was recording. So that was really nice. Um, I didn't do anything different. Just nothing. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys what my mom got me. Um, I put some of them up and some of them I didn't. But next year... I am going to have a peacock tree for sure for Christmas and my mom got me these beautiful peacocks and I just put them up but I'll show you guys right now. So here they are. I believe she got these at Macy's um, but she got these little you know detail things that I just stuck in the peacock um, picture there and then also these beautiful clips. Um, of peacocks. There's that one and then there's the gold one over there and then I will show you guys real quick um, over here some of these that she also got. So there's this one here that is a beautiful mess. There's the tail and then there's also this beautiful one as well. And there's the tail for that one and Snooki is trying to eat them of course but yeah I plan on uh putting those up on my tree for next year and Java and this is in the Rio de Janeiro collection and this one is oh my god I paused it and look at what happened I'm flipping everybody off Okay, everyone, so that is basically going to be it for the week on vlog. I do apologize again that I didn't vlog more. I feel like I'm apologizing all the time at the end of my videos. I need to stop doing that, but, you know, just with my sickness and stuff, I mean, this is my life, and you guys watch to watch my life, and this is what's happening now in the world of Angela. So, um, I just want to say that I greatly appreciate all of you guys. Um, I have been getting a lot of requests in my candle group. Just to let you guys know again, um, if you message me and say, you know, on Facebook and say, um, you know, I'm really into candles, I want to be in your group, I will add you. If I don't know you from Adam and you're just like, you know, one of these people from Tumblr or whatever trying to get into my group, I'm not going to add you because I know that you guys probably are not serious, um, you know, and you're going to spam us or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to definitely, you know, thank each and every one of you guys for watching. Um, it really means a lot to me. And all of your comments and everything, it just, you know, I want to start out the new year fresh. And, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, today I have, knock on wood, like, 
right now, I have stuck to my calorie intake. Um, for breakfast this morning, I had my Nutribullet. I did not, you know, vlog it just because, um, just because I was feeling so crappy this morning. But anyway, I did have my Nutribullet and I had a banana in there. I had strawberries and blueberries. So I know that those are good for antioxidants and things like that. And then for lunch, I just had two pieces of toast, um, what else did I have for lunch? And some vegetables, just because, like, my stomach has been up in knots, too, with the sickness and stuff. So I didn't, you know, I just kind of want to take it easy. I've been watching my intake on cream with my coffee. I did have um, a glass or a cup of coffee later today. I usually do coffee right away in the morning, but with the steroid that I'm on, not a good idea because I had an episode yesterday where I literally thought that I was going to have to call 911. Um, I took my steroid and the albuterol and had coffee all at the same time. And then I took my vitamins and then I started sweating and then I started getting dizzy and then I felt like I was going to throw up and my heart was racing and, um, you know, it could have been to my thyroid pill as well. You guys, I need to like, I know, I'm on a lot of medication right now, plus the antibiotic, but but thankfully I got through it. Um, I didn't have to call 911. Uh, basically what happened was I feel like I'm on a lot of different medications right now. You figure I'm on the albuterol, the steroid inhaler, the antibiotic, my thyroid pill, my hormone pill. Um, I'm also taking biotin, vitamin E, a multivitamin, and vitamin C. So I'm taking a lot of medications right now. It's not all at the same time, but basically what happened was um, I drank a cup of coffee, I had my steroid inhaler and my albuterol inhaler, which is another like fast acting steroid. And I think what happened was with the coffee and everything, plus I had a headache, I felt like my head was going to explode. I did, unfortunately, you guys have a panic attack yesterday. I haven't had a panic attack in a long time, um, but I had one and I got through it. I, you know, the only, I'll kind of get into this maybe like in a different video, but I did used to have panic attacks like severely to the point where I had to see somebody because my panic attacks were running my life and I was not in control of my life at all with my panic attacks. But anyway, I had one, I got through it. Um, the worst thing that happened was I had to open up my bedroom window. Uh, I didn't throw up. I didn't pass out. Um, you know, so I got through it. So anyway, um, so I mean, I wish I wasn't on all these medications right now, but unfortunately I am. Um, and hopefully in the near future, you know, I'll be able to get off some of them with a diet and exercise that I'm, you know, starting to do right now. Um, I do want to contact my doctor and talk to my nutritionist. Also, I need to set up an appointment for that. So many things, you guys. So many things. But anyway, so I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will put some pictures that I posted on Instagram this week after the video, so make sure and stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below. And I love you guys very much. Bye-bye.